it's Jodie and welcome to another reading vlog. Today is Thursday the 8th of October so I'm starting this vlog on a super weird day. The last reading vlog I did was a total mess so I'm hoping this one won't be as bad but I am working so much overtime the rest of the month and then I'm also working between two different stores so life's gonna be a bit crazy for the next couple of weeks but I thought I'd start with some reading updates. So I finished reading The Forest of Moon and Sword by Amy Raphael, I think is how you pronounce the name. And I absolutely loved this book. I gave it five stars. This is my new favourite children's book. I literally can't even, I've got cobwebs stuck on me from my bookshelves. <laughs> it's just so good like I highly highly recommend this book to not only children but to adults as well because it is absolutely phenomenal I can't phenomenal phenomenal <laughs> why can't I say that way you know what I mean it is amazing and I just absolutely adored it it is really really well written it's the writing in this flows so well it's so easy to read but it also picks up on a lot of key important themes as well which is something i really liked it is really really like adventurous and it's really fun and it's full of kind of like historical fiction because this is obviously is about the witch trials that happened in the 1600s and it just had loads of important little life lessons in here it had a really nice historical element to it and i also really loved how the author used nature as the magical element Element. so it's kind of like magical realism in this book which i adored there's a lot of important things in here for example the prejudices against women's portrayed a lot in this book and um, because obviously in the 1600s women were constantly murdered and stuff for being a witch and being a witch you could literally disobey your husband and he would call you a witch like it was ridiculous so the author does a really good job of touching on these things and um, and obviously they are a very important part of history and it's a really good way for kids to try and, and learn this stuff but also read a really fun and adventurous magical book it's just so so good and i would literally recommend this to anyone like if you want a good middle grade to read definitely this one it comes out next year in january i believe um, and i really do think it's worth pre-ordering because like i said it's just so good it's about witch trials and magic and finding yourself and just everything that you want in a middle grade so i really really do recommend this i have wrote a proper review for this so i will link it down below but the next book i finished was Coraline by neil gaiman so i started this couple of nights ago and then i finished it the next day this was a super fast read and i absolutely adored this but no one prepared me for how freaking terrifying this book is because i thought yeah it's gonna be a bit creepy but this was literally like this was scary stuff and considering this is a children's book like i don't know what neil gaiman was on when he wrote this but it is very very scary it literally reminds me of insidious the movie so i was even thinking like did they get inspiration for the story from insidious from this book or something they gave this five out of five stars i loved it and i love Caroline. she's so funny she's just really like sarcastic and she just says how it is and she's just so funny like i just loved her both of these books were my tbr for this month so i'm really happy that i've managed to read them both they are the two books that i have finished yesterday from work i finally got on my pre-orders well i got two i got my signed copy of the invisible life of adi larue signed and has this exclusive um cover as well which i really really like i finally picked this up and the other one and they are beautiful and i should hopefully be going to pick up the forbidden planet signed edition because i pre-ordered it and it's still not been dispatched and i noticed there's an error in my address so i don't know if i'm actually going to get it i rang forbidden planet near me yesterday and they said they had one i'm hoping it is like the exclusive cover version and not just like another signed one so they've reserved it for me so i'm going to pick that up today which is really exciting but yeah that's my plans to say i'm gonna head out I'm gonna get the train and i'm gonna go to food and play it i'm going to pick up that book i might pick up a graphic novel and then i'm gonna go to waterstones and sit in the cafe and edit and read so i'm really excited <laughs> i'm gonna head out the door now and head out into town and i will catch up with you guys later <laughs> so it's me again um i didn't really vlog while i was out um obviously because i was out and about but i did get quite a lot of books but i think i'm actually going to film a book haul at some point so i'm not going to show all of them now but i am going to show one this is the forbidden planet signed exclusive edition of adi larue this one is different to the others it has like blue 
um, on it instead. I'm really happy that I got this. It's so pretty. I think I'm going to try and film now. It's eight o'clock already. I have a lot to get done tonight. So I don't have to film my whole tonight. I'll leave it for another night. I really don't have many reading updates. I am now on page 228 of A Discovery of Witches. So I don't know in the last vlog what I was on and what I updated you guys on, but I'm actually behind. I accidentally read ahead of the real time readathon and then now I'm behind. <laughs> so I love that for me. I am behind by quite a few pages to be honest. I'm gonna try to read some tonight. I might not catch up, um, but I'm gonna try because I do have a lot to still do tonight. I did finish before the coffee gets cold. So I started this audiobook last month, I think, and I kind of didn't listen to it for a while, but I picked the audio back up again recently and I finished it today. Got to be honest, because I kind of listened to it so sporadically and I feel like sometimes I wasn't really paying attention. I don't think I got the full, like, goodness out of it if that makes sense i did enjoy it i've given it three stars a lot of it was very impactful and it was quite an emotional read and it kind of is in three parts because it follows like three different characters and things that happen in their lives and yeah it's quite emotional it's really really good the chapters are very long because it is just three chapters i'm glad i managed to finish this because this is the third book that i finished this month which is really really good so yay <laughs> i'm gonna go and film and then i might update you guys later it depends how late it is by the time i'm done so bye <laughs> It's also Sunday the 18th of October, so I probably updated you guys like a whole week ago now. Things happening and I just haven't been able to vlog, but it's half 10 and I just finished filming a video, so I really need to edit and get that up. I feel quite productive considering it's only half 10 in the morning and I've done a little bit of work. So yeah, I am going to finish sort myself out and then I'm going to head into town and then hopefully have a nice chill reading afternoon. But I don't know. We shall see how this day goes because I do have things to get done today. I am going to go and do that and then I will hopefully update you guys later with all of my reading updates and just general stuff. 
Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. It is much later in the day now. Um, I just got back from town and I ended up Christmas shopping and I'm so excited. I got some really cool gifts for people and I got some gifts for myself too. Look at this beautiful ring I got myself. But yeah, I went into town and I did some Christmas shopping and the stuff I had to do and then I went to my fave cafe Nero and I had a nice little reading session there. And of course, I brought home some carrot cake. So I'm gonna have that in a little bit. For the moment, I'm actually not really reading anything except for I'm listening to the audiobook for Prior of the Orange Tree, which I'm not really enjoying that much. It's okay, but I still have no idea what's going on. And you know, I'm multiple hours in now and I still don't understand it. But I'm still reading um, The Discovery of Witches. I was supposed to be reading this as the real time read along, but then I got behind. So, and then I got ahead, then I got behind again, and now I'm behind. But I am on page 480, um, so I literally don't have much left at all. So I'm just going to carry on reading this. I'm absolutely loving this book. It has quickly become one of my all-time favourite books ever. I love it so much. Um, so I'm going to read some more of this because, yeah, I just love it. I'm on chapter 25 in Priory. Now on page 270-something or maybe 80-something. Probably about a third of the way in. And I'm just not loving this book, um, simply because my brain is not clever enough to comprehend what's going on in this book. There's too many names, too many places, too many things, too many politics, too many everything for my brain to fully understand what exactly is happening, who's doing what and what's happening to what and how all of it kind of links to have one big plot like i'm just not grasping that and that's not a reflection of the writing or the book itself that's just my own stupidity like i'm just struggling to grasp it i think maybe if i was reading this at a different point in time where my brain was less chaotic or something i might be able to understand this better i am using it through audio so maybe if i was physically reading it i'd understand it more but i just don't have the time for that at the moment with it being such a big book but yeah unfortunately i'm not loving it and i had really high hopes for this book and i think it is just maybe not the right time for me to be reading it or I literally am just too stupid um, because I know a lot of people love this and I do I am still enjoying it in the sense of like I can tell the writing is like fantastic and the world building in this is insane I can tell that Samantha Shannon is a very talented writer in coming up with all these different things and this world and it's very intricate I'm still enjoying it for the most part it's just really hard to enjoy a book when you don't really understand what's going on <laughs> or who anyone is I don't know what's happening if someone asked me what was going on in this book or what it's about I couldn't tell you don't really have many other reading updates except for those to be honest I am gonna get myself a cup of tea have my carrot cake and sit and read some more of Discovery of Witches So today is it's Wednesday the 21st of October, many days later again. So this vlog is kind of, I don't know, it's like a two week long reading vlog. I don't even know what this is anymore, but we're just rolling with it. <laughs> yeah, it's Wednesday, I've had a day off um, and it's like almost 7pm now. So I literally have spent all day like doing little errands and then I did a little bit Christmas shopping again. And then I also just spent the whole afternoon in Cafe Nero editing a video, which is fun. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't done a lot of reading. I have made some progress with Priory of the Orange Tree. It's taken 36 chapters, but I finally feel like I'm starting to enjoy this a lot more. I still don't know fully who's who and what the hell's going on, but I am vibing with it a lot more. I think I'm on page 383 now. So I have been making progress with it. I was hoping to finish this book this week, but to be honest, I'm not even halfway yet. A decent chunk of the way through, but I was hoping to get close to finishing it this week. So hopefully I can still do that. I'm starting to enjoy it a lot more. It's 
picked up a lot more and some interesting things are happening in it which i'm really really liking but i'm still very confused overall but yeah that's my progress for that book i haven't done a ton of reading in the last few days because i've been very busy i had my last shift at the world streams branch that i've been working at for the last four months because i've been working at a more local one obviously because of covid and i had my last shift there it was so sad i am really gonna miss everyone that i've been working with and the shop and yeah everyone there is just so lovely i mean i always go in there as a customer anyway but it's not gonna be the same obviously not working there um, and they were really nice and gave me a gift card as well which made me want to cry my eyes out <laughs> hopefully after my week off working back in my bookshop as normal which i'm really excited for i've done a couple of shifts back there already and i'm back there tomorrow again um, and i just love loving working back with my colleagues and all the customers that come in so yeah i've had like a lot of things happening so i haven't really been reading yeah i really need to read some stuff because i started the month off with like finishing three books in like the first week and then my reading progress has just gone Ooh. <laughs> because I've been reading The Discovery Witches still, but I haven't read that for a few days now. But I have my Rampathon announcement video going up tomorrow, which is really last minute because the readathon starts in like five days. So yay, we love that for me. I'm so last minute. That is going up tomorrow. So you probably will have already seen that by the time this vlog goes up. If not, it will be linked below. Really excited because I have the week off next week and it's Rampathon and I'm hoping to vlog every day. I don't really have any reading updates except for those. I did get this cool new Dracula jump out, which I'm obsessed with look how cool this is oh i love it i love it i'm sorry that this vlog is kind of all over the place but it is what it is um <laughs> yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here because i feel like it's kind of just been all over the place and things are kind of everywhere um and i don't know when i'll next be able to vlog again this week and then i'm starting my vampathon vlogs next week so yeah i think i'll end it here i hope you did enjoy this anyway i had some nice cozy content in there which was fun my next vlog should be really fun because i have the whole week off to do nothing but read and obviously it's the week of halloween so they will be nice and spooky vlogs i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then please do give it a big thumbs up it was so hard for me not to do that then <laughs> I was resisting the edge so bad not to do that. I will see you guys soon. Bye!